Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ross with Stammer and today I'm gonna to be showing you how white labeling works. Now this is one of those features that kind of is confusing if you're not familiar with it, but once you understand the general concepts of how white labeling works, it becomes very clear and you have an aha moment and then all of a sudden you can understand how then you can resell different services to your clients and have it all make sense. So I made a little graph here. So before we go into the technical details of how to actually set this up by going into agency and setting in a custom domain. I wanted to just show you a quick little graph here that hopefully will help illustrate what it is that we're, that we're doing here. So when we first get started, when you first sign up, we're going to be looking at just app.stammer.ai. And so for example, if we go over here, we can see that this is app.stammer.ai. And so when you first get signed up for a free trial, you'll, you're will you able to actually set up a white label custom domain. And so, but before you do that, so this is what you're gonna see. And this is going to match the URL. And eventually this is going to match the URL that your customers see when they log in. So for example, instead of it being app.stammer.ai, it would be app yourdomain.com or whatever whatever your URL is. So inside app, inside the Stammer dashboard and app, you're able to create AI chatbots for different clients. Now, now you, you know you could be you could easily just make these AI chatbots and then embed these on your clients' websites, and then your clients would never be able to or need the ability to log in to manage it themselves because you would just be doing this all for them. And so if you were just to make AI chatbots just from app.stammer.ai, it would look like this. So you'd be in this chatbot section, you could go into my chatbot and you could create a new chatbot in this section right here. Now, if you were to basically create a custom domain with Stammer, it would then look like this, app.yourdomain.com or whatever, whatever it would be. And this then gives you the ability to create sub accounts for individual clients, which you can then create individual chatbots for that specific client. And that client can then log in to your domain and be able to see all of the information that's right here. But instead of it saying stammer and stammer.ai here and having the stammer logo here, it would be your logo and name here, your uh, URL slug here and your metadata and uh, icon up here. So it's all customized to be for your business, but it's all run on top of the same platform. So once you get this set up, it's gonna look like this. All right, so I've logged into one of the custom domain white labeled versions of Stammer. And so now you can see that it's app.srchatbot.com. It's gonna have the site right logo and the site right metadata. And it's all gonna be customized basically to me. You can even see that the all rights reserved is, is specific to, to my business as well. So now I have the ability to create sub accounts for my different clients. So for example, I could create one for myself, but I could also create a new sub account for one of my clients and then I would tell my client, go to app.srchatbot.com to be able to then create your, to create your chatbot. So when they log in, it would then look like this. It would look like this to them. They'd be able to go in and create a chatbot and then be able to do all of the actions with creating it, training it, testing it out, optimizing it, et cetera. And then this is how you can essentially set this up so that way each of your clients has their own login to their own account, but it's all run on the same agency level dashboard that you control and you have access to. So if we go back into the agency view, we can go and get this set up. So if you go into agency, into profile, this is where you're gonna set the name and upload the logo, which gets updated right here and for the favicon right here. Once you go into custom domain, this is where you're gonna add and set up what you want your subdomain to be. So app.whateveryourdomainis.com. Now you could do this with your existing website or you could go to a place like Google Domains 
and get a, a new domain. And so once you add in what you want the URL for your custom version of Stammer to be, you're gonna click Next. And then there's a video tutorial here that you can go through that basically just walks you through it, but all you need to know is essentially these, these three steps. We're going to add one A record that points to this IP address. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna select that, you're gonna copy that, then you're gonna to go to wherever your domain is, and then, so this is specifically for Google domains, but we also have tutorials here for Namecheap, uh, the one for Google, and then if you have other ones like um, HostGator or GoDaddy, it's all relatively the same. You're gonna go into where you can manage the DNS settings. You're gonna click Manage or Edit Custom Settings, and then in the host name, you're gonna add app. The, a, the type is gonna be a record, an A record, TTL, or, or this might show uh, time in, in other places. Typically, you want this to be the lowest value as possible, so it gets updated as quickly as possible. And then we're gonna paste in that IP address into this data and then click Save. And if you, are, if you have any issues with this too, feel free to reach out to us via the support ticket and or you can uh, join one of our office hours sections and then uh, we can help you get that set up because I know DNS can be, can be kind of tricky. So, but if we go back into this setup, do, 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 custom domain. Oh, wrong one, there we go. Um, and we click next. We're gonna click launch website and hopefully you should see a status pending here. And that's just gonna show you that the propagation is underway. And then this will show a uh, refresh every few minutes. Just click this refresh until it shows the status success button or, uh, or notice. And then once it shows this notice, you can then go and log in to your new, uh, to your new domain and everything will be, will be working. And you use the same uh, logging credentials that you used and created your account with Stammer AI to log into your new uh, admin agency level view of your custom domain. And so everything that you see over in Stammer is you're going to be able to see in your, uh, in your white labeled version of it. So it's a essentially it's a one-to-one -one copy and this is how you can showcase all of this information to your clients and it's all going to be underneath your own brand. So I know that was a lot, and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be answering everything I can, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.